There's an example out there of a dead dog's heart. And what happens is the heartworm is, is, comes from mosquitoes. And they bite the dog, they inject the dog. <laughs> Anyhow, let's see, there's medication for that. And we have mosquitoes here all the time. So you want to make sure you have heartworm medication for your dog. What happens is, and here's an example, the mosquito bites the dog, injects the stuff, the mosquito bar, uh, egg into the dog, the mosquito lays the worm egg into the dog, and then it grows, becomes adult worm, fills up their heart, opens their heart, they can't pump the blood, goes into their organs, and it kills the dog. If you catch it early enough, you can stop that. If you catch it early enough, it can be treated. If you catch it too late, it'll kill the dog. Some of the poisonous plants that we have, and I just found out this one recently is a sago palm. Uh, one of my puppies ate a gumball from a sago palm and almost died. It was in, he was in intensive care. It kills the toxins in it. Will kill little kids and dogs. And all it takes is one seed from a sago palm. The sago palm is probably in most of your yards or neighbors' yards, so you got to be careful of those. And I didn't know they were poisonous. Uh, Home, uh, Home Depot and Lowe's and Walmart sell them, but they have no warnings on them. And a little kid that eats one would be dead in a few days if the parents didn't know that they ate them. And there's been many, many cases. This is the puppy. He's uh, 10 months old. That's Rascal. He, uh, he has been shown about eight times he's won six shows, so he's been doing real well. He's not finished champion, though, yet. One of the places I wanted to tell you about was, uh, <laughs> I'll show you, is uh, ASPCA poison control. If your dog gets something that it shouldn't and you think it's a plant, you can go there. It shows you pictures of all the different types of plants. And you can look for the ones that are in your yard. Other poisons would be rat poisons. <laughs> People food, most people know about chocolate. Chocolate's very toxic to the dogs. Grapes, raisins, gum, uh, pit from a, they cannot process a pit from a peach if they eat it. It's not like a bone, it doesn't go through their body. You can, you'll can end up with an expensive operation or you'll lose your dog. So you make sure you don't leave these things laying around. Human medications, if you've got grandma's pills laying out on the table and the dog gets them and eats them, it could kill them depending on what it is. Uh, other things to consider are toys. You don't want to leave toys around that they can pull buttons and eyes and belts off and things like that because it'll, it'll jam up their interior and they won't be able to digest it and it won't come out the other end. Go in one side, not out the other. Here are some pictures of fat dogs. These guys got too many cookies. <laughs> they got too many milk bones. Um, overfed dogs. Dogs that get into the food, they just leave it on the floor and they eat when they want. And notice that poor bulldog, when he was little, he was cute. But now he's a big barrel and he probably's got a short life. 